Δοητός ο Θεός ημών πάντεν ή και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Χριστός ανέστη εκ νεκρών θανάτο, θάνατον πατήσας και της εν της μνήμας η ζωή χαρισάμενος. Τον θανάτων πατήσα και τη εν τη μνήμα η ζωή χαρισάμενο. Αλμασίε κάμιν, Βανίλα Μουάρ, Βαβατήλα Μάρ, Πυρμάρ, Βαβάχα, Βαλαγιά, Λίλα, Δίνα Φίλκου. Λόγι, το Father. Παναγία τριά, σε λέει στον Ιμά. Κύριε Ελάσσι, τα σταματεία Σιμών, δέσποτα σε χωρισόν τη ονομία Σιμών, αεπίσκεψε και άσε τα σενία Σιμών, εν εκέν του μονατό σου. Κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον, δόξα πατρί και ιό και ο πνεύματι, και νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων αμήν. Πάτρι μόν, ο εντή ουρανή, αγιαστείτε το όνομά σου, ελθότη βασιλεία σου, γεννηθείτε το θέλημά σου, ω εν ονών και πηγή, των άτιμων των επιούσιων. Δώσ' μην σήμερα και άφησε μην τα οφελήματα ημών, ως και εμείς εφήμε τις οφελέτες ημών, και εμείς εγγυνείς ημάς εις πήρες μόν, αραρίς ημάς του πονηρού. Ότι πρέπει να δείτε τον Πατρός και την πνεύματος νυν και αή και εις ως αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Σώσον Κύριον το λαό σου και ευλόησον την κλήθρον ομοία σου, νίκας η βασιλεύση κατά βαβάρον δωρούμενος και έτος των φυλάτων δύο του σταυρού σου πολίτεμα. Δόξα πατρί και ιό και ο πνεύματι, ο ύψωτης εν το σταυρό επουσίως, τι επανήμου σου κάνει πολιτεία του συχτιμού σου δόρης εκ της ο Θεός, έθερον εν τη δάμη σου, τους πιστούς βασιλείς ημών, νίκας χορηγών αυτής κατά τον κορονία του και με την πίστη όσων του ειρήνης αείς των τροπεών, και νυν και αεί και έστως αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν, το τίτια φοβρά τα ακατέστατε, μη παρηρίζα για την τασικέσια σημών παμήνησε σε αυτό, Διότι έτε και στεών μόνοι ευλογημένοι. Λέει στην ημάς ο Θεός και το Μέγε λέει ως μεθάς σου πάκουσον και λέει σον. Κύριε λέει σον, κύριε λέει σον, κύριε λέει σον. Εδώ μεθά υπετρευσεβών και ρουδόξου χριστιανών. Κύριε λέει σον, κύριε λέει σον. Εδώ μεθά υπετρευσεβών και ρουδόξου χριστιανών. Κύριε λέει σον, κύριε ότι η Δήμη και η Φιλάνδοπος θα συμπάρχει, εσύ δόξα να μπαίνουμε με τον Πατρί και το Υιό και το Υιό Πνεύμα την Ικαία Ή και Ιησούς αιώνας των αιώνων. Ήν, εν ονόμα Κύριο Ευλόγησον Πάτε. Δόξα τη Κοιμωσίου και Ζωπίο και Διερετουριά διπάντε Νικαία Ή και Ιησούς αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Δόξα εν ύψης εις Θεό και επηγείς η δίνη εν άνθρωπη σε δοκία. Δόξα εν ύψησίστε ο και επηγείς ειρήνη εν άνθρωπη σε δοκία. Δόξα εν ύψησίστε ο και επηγείς ειρήνη εν άνθρωπη σε δοκία. Κύριε τα χείλη μου, ανοίξε και το στόμα μου, αγγελή την εν ευθύ σου. Κύριε, τι επιθύθησαν οι φλιβοντές με, πολλοί επανίστενται έπε με, πολλοί λέγωσε η ψυχή μου, ούκ και στην σωτηρία αυτού εν τε Θεού αυτού. Είδε Κύριε αν τη λύπτω μου, η δόξα μου και η σόν την και πανή μου. Ο νήμου φως Κύριο να και έκραξα Φοβετήσε με από μυριάδων λαών των κύκλων, σκέπη τη ημέρα μου. Ανάστε, κύριε, σώσε με ο Θεό μου, ότι εσύ αποτάσσε πάντα στου εκτελεοντά μου, οι ματιών των δόντων των ματαλών. Συνέχνε το σωτηρίο, η σωτηρία σου έπρεπε των λαών σου, η ευλογία σου. Εγώ κοιμήθη και ύπνουσα, εξηγέθη ότι κύριε, σε τη λύση τέμου. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chasten me in your wrath, for your arrows are fixed in me, and you have pressed your hand heavily upon me. There is no health in my flesh in the face of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For my transgressions have risen higher than my head. They have pressed heavily upon me as a heavy burden. My bruises have become noisome and corrupt in the face of my foolishness. I have been wretched and bowed down utterly until the end. All day long I went with downcast face. For my soul is filled with mockingness, and there is no health in my flesh. 
I have been afflicted and I have been greatly humbled. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. But, O oh Lord, all my desire is before you. My groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled. My strength has failed me. And the light of my eyes is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew up against me and stood still. My nearest relatives stood far off. And they who sought my soul used violence. And they who sought evil for me spoke vain things. They meditated craftiness all day long. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not. And I was a speechless man who opened not his mouth. And I became a man who hears not and has no reproofs in his mouth. For I have hoped in you, O Lord. You will listen to me, O Lord my God. For I said, never let my enemies rejoice over me. Yes, when my feet were shaken, those men spoke boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow was continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity and be distressed for my sin. But my enemies live and are mightier than I, and they who hated me unjustly are multiplied. They who render me evil for good have slandered me because I followed righteousness. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God. Do not depart from me. Be attentive to my help, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, Lord my God. Be not far from me. Make haste to help me, Lord my salvation. O God, my God, early at dawn I rise to you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a barren, untrodden, watered land. So I have appeared before you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I shall bless you while I live, and I will lift up my hands in your name. Let my soul be filled with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you at dawn, for you have become my helper. I shall rejoice in the shelter of your wings. My soul falls close behind you. Your right hand has been quick to help me. But those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall be praised. But the mouths of those who speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on you at dawn, for you have become my helper. I shall rejoice in the shelter of your wings. My soul falls close behind you. Your right hand has been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to ages of ages. Amen. Ebloipsikimuton <laughs> Ελεμοσύνα ο κύριο και κρίμα πάσα δικουμένη. Εγνώρισε τα σοδού αυτού του Μωησί τη γη, η ζωή τα θελήματα αυτού. Η κτήρμο και λέει: κύριο μακρόθυμο και πολύ αλλό, ει τέλο το γεθίστε ούτε ει τον αιώνα μην ήρθε. Ο κατάτα σαν μια σε μόνο πηγή σε νημίντε, ο κατάτα σαν μαρτία σε μόνο έδο και νημίνο, ότι κατά το ύψο του ουρανού από τη κρατέωσε κύριο το έλεο αυτού. 
από τους φαγμένους του καθώς αν υπάρχουν σε ένα το λέει και δες μόνο μάγρες υπομόντας σαν να μην έτσι μόνο καθώς εκτήρη πατηρίως εκτουρίσε κυρίως τους εαυτών ότι αυτός άγνω το πλάσμα εμνής της χωρισμένης άνθρωπος ο συγχώρτος και η μέρα αυτούς η άνθρωση του το αγρούγου τους εκτανθήσει ότι πνεύμα διγέλθω είναι αυτό και ο και υπάρχει και επιγνώσετε ότι τον τόπον αυτού το δε έλεος του Κυρίου από το αιώνας και εκ του αιώνας του σπαγμένους αυτό και η δικαιοσύνη αυτού επηγήσιον τη φυλάσσιση τη διαθήκη αυτού και με μνημένη στον τέλος αυτού του πείσε αυτά Κυρίως εν το ουρανό ηλίμαστε εν το κόρμα του και η βασιλεία από το πάντο τον κόσμο Ευλογείτε τον Κύριο πάντες και άγγελοι αυτού δυνατοί οι σκύφοι ούτες των λόγων αυτού του ακούσε τις φωνής των λόγων αυτού, ευλογείται τον Κύριο Πάσα δυνάμεις αυτού, λειτουργεί από αυτού και ούτε τους πνεύμανε. Ευλογείται τον Κύριο Πάντα τα έργα αυτού, εμπατεί το από τους ποτιές αυτού, ευλόγη ψύχη με τον Κύριο. Εμπατεί το από τους ποτιές αυτού, ευλόγη ψύχη με τον Κύριο. Κύριε, εις άκουσον της προσοχής μου, εν ότι σε την δεησή μου εν την αληθία σου εις πάντως ομονή μου την φύλη σου, και μη εσέλθει της κρ Τι σημαίνει σκοτεινή και εσύ και μόνο εσύ την κυρία του μεταλλιά το πνεύμα μου. Εν μία τεράκη με τα δία μου. Εν μία την ημέρα ο νέο μέσα στην πάση τη ζωή σου. Εν τι είναι σε τον κύριο του ομολέτο. Τι θα είσαι πρώτο κύριο και εσύ μόνο μου αρνηθία σου. Τα πράγματα που θα είσαι πρώτο κύριο και εσύ μόνο μου. Τι έχω φτιάξει και πρώτο κόμμα του κόσμου. 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 Τι έχω φτιά Πάντα στου του ελοκυστικού και του νεκρόνου. Τι θα ακουστούν μου, κύριε, τη δικαιοσύνη σου και τη μεταφράση τη φύση μου και τη ζωή σου. Τι θα ακουστούν μου, κύριε, τη δικαιοσύνη σου και τη μεταφράση τη φύση μου και τη ζωή σου. Το πνεύμα σου και την ίδια την αφιλία. Το όξα πατρί και ο και ο πνεύμα του και νύχια έχει έω του αιώνα των αιώνα να μείνει. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σου ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σου ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, αλληλούια, αλληλούια. Δόξα σε ο Θεός, ελπίσιμον Κύριε, δόξα σε. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Η πέρδις ανασθενής ότι και η πέρδις γενής του σύμματος κόσμου ευσταθείας των Αγίου Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάντων ενώσεως του Κύριου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λέησο. Η πέρδι του Αγίου Υκού του μεταπίσης ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεουσιών των εναυτών του Κύριου Δεϊθόμεν. Our Archbishop and Father Stavros, the noble presbyters, the deacon in Christ, for all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the president, and all those in public service in the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. The beggars, polio, staff, the spas, polio, squatters, and the beast, the kund, and the naftes, the kiri, the ithomen. The beggars, the seers, and the fullies, the corpon, the zis, the kiron, and the nikon, the kiri, the ithomen. The bebleon, the nidibur, the nosun, the kandon, the nechmaloton, και τη σωτηρία αυτών του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Πέτρου τη στήνη, μα το πα τη θλίψη, ω ο γη κυρίου και ανάγκη του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of the Theotokos, and every Jimmy of the saints, let us commit ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. Τι πρέπει στην πάστα δοξήμη και προσκύνηση στο πατρί και το ιό. Και το Αγίου Πνεύμα την Ικαία Ή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Θεός Κύριος και επέφανεν ημίν, ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. Εξομολογήστε το Κυρίο και επικαλείστε το όνομα του Άγιου αυτού. Θεός Κύριος και επέφανεν ημίν, ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος, εν ανώματι Κυρίου. Πάντα τα έθνη είναι και ακούσαν με και το όνομα του Κυρίου η νάμη αυτού. Θεός Κύριος και επέφανεν ημίν, ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος, εν ανώματι Κυρίου. 
παράκυριο έγινε το άπτη και αίσθητα μας τι είναι οφθαλμίσιμον The Lord is God has revealed itself to us Blessed is he who grants the name of the Lord Ο Φεδρότης Αναστάσεως κηρύγμα εκ του Αγγέλου Μαθούσε εκ του Κυρίου Μαθητριέ και την προγονική να απόφαση να απορρίσσεσε της Αποστόλης καυχόμενο έλεγον εσκύλευτεν ο θάνατος η γέρε τη Χριστέως ο Θεός ρουμένος στον κόσμο το μεγά έλεον. Glory, δόξα Πατρή και ο Κύριο Πνεύματι, μέγα νεύρα το ηχείος δίστης, σε το πρόχωρο των εξ της Αγύπτου, αθλοφόρε Χριστού Ισίδωρε, ως του δεκίου καθήλα στη δύναμη, και νουμερίου το θράσος κατέβαλες, ούτως Άγιε Χριστόν τον Θεόν ηκέτευε, δωρήσασθε ημιν το Μέγα Ελεός. Εν ίκαια ίκαι στους αιώνας των αιώνων αμή, μου ζούσεις της εορτής, διψώσα μου την ψυχήν, ευσεβίας πότισα, νόματα ότι πέσεις, ότι ρε βοήσας. Ο διψών εσκέτω προς με και επινότων η πηγή της ζωής Χριστέ ο Θεός δόξα Συ. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and bring to us, O God, by your grace. Commemorate your most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the Virgin Mary, for the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Looking up at the entrance to the sepulcher and unable to endure the angel's radiance, the merbearing women were trembling and said in astonishment, has he been stolen who to the robber opened up paradise? Has he arisen who spoke of rising before even suffering? He is truly risen as Christ our God, Granting the, to those in Hades life and resurrection. Oxa Patrike, Oke, Yopnebati, Anestis, O Athanatos, Apotu Adus, O Tir, Sinira, So Cosmos, O Tianastasi, Tisi, Christe, O Theosimon, Ethrepsas, Eniski, To Tanatu, To Kratos, Έδειξα σε λαϊμόν την ανάσταση πάση, διότι και δοξάζομαι μόνο φιλάνθρωπε. Και νύχια αίγαι και στου αιώνα των αιώνων ομοί, το απεώνο απόκρυφων και άγγελοι σαν γνωστό μυστήριο. Δια σου θεό το και τη σε πηγή. Τις πεφανέρωτε Θεός έναν ισχύτων ενός εισαρκούμενος και σταυρών εκουσίως υπέρ ημών καταδεξάμενος διού αναστήσας των προπτώπλαστων έσωσεν εκ τ' ανάντου τα ψυχάσιμο. Εμείς ο μεν φεδρός των Ισίδωρων πάντες αυτού την εορτήν αυθορθέντες εν Θεού την πλάνη γιγάρδιλη λέξε και την πίστην ετράνωσεν όθεν ήλυφε και του στεφάνους της νίκης εκ του νόμοντος της αθλητές τα βραβεία 
Kristu tu pananakos. Ok sabatri ke yo ke yo pnebati ekusi asubuli sabro ni pemi nasodir ke mni mati ke no antropi eton dotniti donde legun ta perata sin rameno o te dis mati salotriok tanatos digon Eskile vedo que en adia pandes e crav gazo tizo foron e yersisu Christos anesti o zodo dis meno estu seonas. Both now and forever into the ages of ages, amen. Joseph marveled as he saw that which transcended nature's bounds. Then he brought to mind the dew that fallen on the fleece at your conception without seed of Theotokos, the bush ha that had remained unconsumed in fire, Aaron's rod of old that had blossomed forth as your betrothed and guardian he witnessed before the priest and he cried aloud. The virgin gives birth and after childbirth Still she remains a virgin in. Eloito si kirie di dexon me da di ke o matasu, ton angelo no dimos kate plai eronse en e kris lo yestenda. Tu zana tu de sotir tin iskin kathelondan και συνέφτον τον αδάμι γύραντα και εξάδου πάντες ελευθερώτσαντα. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O women disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the murmuring women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Ευλογητώσει <laughs> Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We bow down in worship to the Father and His Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence. And we cry aloud with a set of him. Holy, holy, holy are you, O Lord. Enin ke ai ke istu se wanas tone ononami. Zodon tin te kusa elitroso partene ton adrama matias. Pranon mi da ti eva anti lipis pareskes. Refsan da zoi si tin e prostatide. O exus da crotisteo que antropo. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Doxa si o teo. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Doxa si o teo. Get in again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and with ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, 
Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. You, o Lord. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The women bearing myrrh hurry to declare the matter of your paradoxal rising to your apostles. O Christ, that as God you arose, granting the world great mercy. Since my youth have many passions weighed war against me, O my Savior, nonetheless, help me and save me. Glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. From the Holy Spirit every soul receives life, and through cleansing is lifted and brightened in a hidden sacred manner by the trinal monad. <laughs> Whosoever has acquired hope in the Lord is superior to all whatsoever might grieve him. Let my heart be lifted unto you, O Logos, and none of the world's delights will entice me to be earthly minded. <laughs> Anasta Kyrie voithis on imin, ke litros e imas, ene kentis loxis, Tu onomatosu. Anasta Kyrie voithis on imin, ke litros e imas, ene kentis loxis, tu onomatosu. O God, we heard with our ears, our fathers proclaimed it to us, the work you performed in their days, in days of old. Arise, O Lord, help us and redeem us because of the glory of your name. The feast according to the law at its midpoint, O Christ our God, as the creator and master of everything, you said to all who were present there, come that you might draw from me the water of immortality. Hence with faith we cry to you as we prostrate before you. Your tender mercies grant to us, we pray. You are the fountain and the source of life, O Lord. In faith came the woman of Samaria to the well, and she beheld you who are the water of wisdom. When she had fully drunk thereof, this famous lady inherited the kingdom on high for eternity. Let us listen to John as he teaches us of divine mysteries that took place in Samaria, how the Lord conversed with a woman after asking her for water, he who collected the waters in their gatherings and who shared the thrones with the Father and Spirit, for our famous Savior came seeking his image for the kingdom on high for eternity. On this, the 14th of the month, we commemorate the holy martyr Isidore of Chios. On this day, we commemorate the holy hierom martyr Therapon. We also commemorate the holy martyr Alexander of saint Kele. We also commemorate the holy martyrs Alexander, Bar Barbarus, and Acolithos. We also commemorate our father among the saints, Leon, dos patriarch of Jerusalem, who reposed in peace. The new martyr Mark the Cretan, who witnessed in, in Smyrna, died by the sword. The holy neo-martyr John the Bulgarian, who died by the sword. On this, the fifth Sunday of Pascha, we celebrate the feast of the Samaritan woman coming to fetch her fleeting water, a woman, though living water draws by which you wash her, by which you wash her soul's swords. 
by the intercessions of your martyr, Fotinio Christ, our God, of mercy and us, amen. Resurrection day, O people, let us brightly shine. Pascha, the Lord's Pascha, for Christ our God has out of death passed us over into life, and likewise from earth to heaven, as we now sing unto him a triumphal hymn. <laughs> Arising at dawn very early, instead of women a him, let us offer unto the Master, and then we shall clearly see Christ the Son of Righteousness, causing true life to arise for all. <laughs> The same one who delivered the lads from the fire, becoming a mortal man, suffers in the flesh, and by his passion he erased mortal nature with majesty, free of all corruption, the only God of the fathers, blessed and supremely glorious. Enumen evlogumen, que proskinumen ton kirion, aptikliti, que ayia imera, imia ton sabato, i facilis que kiria. E orton e orti, que panieris esti, panieris, e ne evlogume, Christon istusiona. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For you are holy, our God. Who rest among the saints, do we offer glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be deemed worthy to hear the Holy Wisdom, let us be attentive, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. At the time Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter then came out of, with the other disciple, and they went toward the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying in the napkin, which had been on his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture, 
that he must rise from the dead. Then his disciples went back to their home. home. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all the faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. <laughs> Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies through the intercessions of our most pure lady the Theotokos and of the Virgin Mary the power of the precious and life-giving cross the protection of the honorable by powers of heaven the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist the holy glorious and praise with the apostles our fathers among the saints the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers based with the great Gregor theologian and John Chrysostom Athanasius Cyril and John the merciful patriarchs of Alexandria Spirit on Bishop of Trimithos Nectaris and Pedopolis, the wonder workers, 
the holy glorious great martyrs George, the trophy bearer, Demetrius, the more flowing, theater of the garden, theater of the general, Minas, the Fanudius, the wonder workers, the hiram martyrs, Karanabos, the Lefterios, the holy glorious and victorious martyrs, the glorious great martyr, the laudable Ephemia, of our holy God bearing fathers, of our holy glorious martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, of our holy God bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of Saint Isidoros of Chios, and of all your saints, we beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Eleki dimis ki filanthropia do mora yene su mefevlo gitosi ki do banagia ko gatho ki zbiyo su bne matini ki ai ki ai su se onas to ne onun. For the Son, her magnifying song, the Theotokos, and the Mother of Light. Επίσε ανετήλε χορεύε, νυν και αγκαλωζίον. Σύνδε αγνίτερ που θεο τόπο, εσύ του τόπου σου. Μεγάλην ψυχή μου, τον έκανα στάντα, σήμερος εκ τάφου, Χριστόν τον ζωοδότη. Φωτίζου, φωτίζου, η νέα Ιερουσαλήμ, η γαρδόξα Κυρίου, επίσε ανετήλε, χωρε μπενήν και αγαλουσίο, σύντε αγνή, τερπούσε ο τόκε, εν τη εγέρση του τόκου σου. Ωνας τον αιώνα να μην και ρε παρθένε και ρε 
κερε ευλογημένη, κερε δε δοξασμένη, σας χαριάς ανέστη τριήμερος εκ τάφου, εφραίνου αγγέλου, η Θεία απειλή, η του φωτός, ο γαρδίν εν τάφο, η Ιησούς ανέτηλε, Λάμψα σιλίου, φέδρο τερό και τους πιστούς πάντας κατεγίσας Θεοκρήτος δεσποινός. The angel cried aloud to the lady full of grace, Rejoice of your virgin, and again I say rejoice, Your son has resurrected from the grave on the third day. Be illumined, illumined, O New Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord has arisen over you. Dance now for joy, O Zion, and exalt, and you be merry, O pure Theotokos, at the arising of the one you bore. Oh, 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 oh. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Amen. Aeus Kyrios o Theosimus. He is the Lord our God. Aeus Kyrios o Theosimus. Ipsote Kyrion don Theonimus και προσκυνείτε το υποποδία των ποδών αυτού, ότι Άγιος εστί. When you had slumbered in the flesh as one mortal, O King and Lord, you rose again on the third day and raised up Adam from decay and rendered death of no effect. Pascha of incorruption, salvation of the world. Samaria, God the Lord, so dear and so wonderful, in a man, ke yineki o milisas, as it is either to be o pedras. Agrodomi bigasa sido, evrei prospetti si elaves, che ni zoit apolavi, e nuranis eonio. Is Alexandru to threma, to kafki matis Egyptu, Ισίδωρε αθλοφόρε και πολιούχε τη σκιού. Του εκτελούντα σου σκέπε την πανσεβασμή ομνήμη. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. It is fitting to sing a hymn to you, O God. And ye it up don't fantasy and get up to. And ye it up don't fantasy and Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to the abundance of His greatness. You endured crucifixion and death, O Lord, and resurrected from the dead. 
O Almighty One, we glorify your resurrection. <laughs> The following two hymns are in honor of Saint Isidros of Hios. Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flute. Ton poliu contiskiu pandestimi somen Isidoron ton mega ton lambron aristea ton basas methodias tu poniru efjeros di alisanda que tu patros tu ikiku tin misaran apelexanda Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered and let those who hate him flee from before his face. Today a sacred Pascha has been revealed to us, a Pascha new and holy, a Pascha mystical, a Pascha all venerable, Pascha the Redeemer Christ himself, a Pascha that is blameless, a Pascha that is great, a Pascha of believers, a Pascha that has opened for us the gates of paradise, a Pascha that sanctifies believers all. O secli picapno secli potusan, o stege de kiros, apo prozogo pupiros, Δεύτε από τέας γυναίκες ευαγγελιστριέ και την Σιόν είπατε δε κουπάρει μον χαρά σε ευαγγελία της Αναστάσεως Χριστού τερ που χόρευε και αγάλω Ιερουσαλήμ so let the sinners perish from the face of God and let the righteous be glad the mer-bearing women at dawn very early Standing outside the tomb of the giver of life, found an angel who was seated upon the stone, and the angel addressed them, and this is what he had said. Why do you seek among the dead the one who is alive? Why do you grieve? as though corruptible 
the incorrupt. So go back and proclaim it to his disciples. Apti mera en episio kirios agaliot no meta ke em pranto men en apti paska dodermno paska kiri upaska paska panse vas mioni minat ne dile paska en karasalilu peripte trometa O Pascalitro, le bisque ga ect da afut sin meron. As per equis pastus, el apse Christos, que ta iene acharas, e blitz en lego, kirixate apostoli. The well of life source, Jesus our Savior, came to the well of Jacob the patriarch, and he asked a Samaritan woman for a drink of water. When she objected that a Jew would have no dealing with her, the wise creator diverts her with sweet words to ask instead for the eternal water. When she had received it, she proclaimed it to all, saying, Come and see the knower of things hidden. He is God, and he has come in the flesh to save humanity. Nedoxa, Patrike, io, che agio pnevmati. I pigiti so, dorchi ace su su, te remon, e piti ye ye ne paste su. Patriarchu Iacob Pine ziti idor Para ginecos Samariti idor Tis de to ekinoni Totoni udeo prosipu Sopos di mi urgos me te kite vi apti te zlikies prostri se si me lom prosedi sin tu e diu i datos ke o ke la busa Te spazi se kirikse ni pusa nefte edete ton grip no gnosti inketeon para yeno menos arki di ato soseto na antropo. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Please rise, Sigothite. It is the day of resurrection. Let us shine brightly for the festival. And also embrace one another. Brethren, let us say, even to those who hate us, let us forgive everything for the resurrection. And thus let us cry, Necron, 
Thanato, Thanato, Pam, Tisas, Ketisan, Tisni Masi, Zoin, Karisan. to you who show the light glory in the highest to God his peace is on earth his good pleasure in mankind Lord King Heavenly God Father Ruler over all Lord, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and you, O Holy Spirit. <speaking in Hebrew> Accept our supplication, you who sit at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. Every day I will bless you, and your name will I praise to eternity and to the ages of ages. Let your mercy be on us, O Lord, as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. For with you is the fountain of life, in your light we shall see light. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Kudus on the la, kudus on the kawi, kudus on the la di la yamutir kamna. Si merosotiria to kud mo yegone aso medo anastandi ekta apu ke arki gundi zo yisimon kate longare to tanato tun tanato. Christosanesti. Ek nekron Thanato Thanato Patisas Ketis En Tisni Masin Zoin Karisan In 
of all tombs he has granted life. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace of the whole world, the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, let us enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For Archbishop and Father Salvas, the Honorable Presbyterate, for the accident in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Υπέ του ευθύνου σημαίνει εθνούς πάσης αρχής και εξουσίας εν αυτό και του στρατού ημών του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Υπέρ της πόλεως ταύτης πάσης πόλεως χώρας και των πιστικούν των εναυτές του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Υπέρ ευκρασίες θα αναφορείς και ορμπών της γης και καιρών την ειδικών του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Υπέρ πλέον των εδιπορούν των όσων των καμνών των εκμαλώτων και της σωτηρίας αυτών του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Πέτρη στην ημάς από πάση της θλίψεως οργής και δίνου και ανάγκης του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Help us, save us, have mercy on us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages.
Pak i pak i miram gospodu pomolim si ja. Zastupi, spasi, pomiluj se, ohrani nas, Bože Tvoje, i u blagodati ju. Presvjeti ju, prečisti ju, preblagosloveni ju, slavni ju, vlaću našu i bogorodicu, prisno Djevu Mariju, so vsjem i vsjetim i pomjenuše, sami sebe i drug, druga i već život naš, Hristu Bogu predadim. Jako blagi, čelovi, jako ljubec, Bog i jesi i tebi slavu vosilajem, Otcu i Sinu i Svjatomu Duhu, ninje i prisno, i vo vijek i vijekom. Sophia or Thief, an ecclesiast, evlogite ton theon, Kirion, ec bigon Israel, son son imasi, etheum, o Anastas, ec necron. When the women disciples of the Lord had learned from the angel the joyful message of the resurrection and had rejected the ancestral decision, they cried aloud to the apostles triumphantly, Death has been despoiled, Christ God has risen, granting his great mercy to the world. into the tomb, O oh, immortal one, yet yeah, you have brought down the dominion of Hades, and you rose as the victor of Christ our God, and you called out rejoice to the murmuring women, and gave peace to your apostles, O oh, Lord. Who to the fallen granted resurrection? To give you the Thomen, for the Agius of the Osimon, Stocks and Abemomen, to Patrick, to him, 
και το Αγίο Πνεύμα την Ικεάη και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Magnificent are your works. You have made all things in wisdom. Wisdom. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Let us be attentive. Reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, those apostles who were scattered because of the persecution that arose over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch speaking the word to none except Jews. But there were some of them, men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Greeks also, preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number that believed turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he was glad. And he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast purpose. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a large company was added to the Lord. So Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large company of people. And in Antioch the disciples were for the first time called Christians. 
Now in these days, prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch, and one of them, named Agabus, stood up and foretold by the Spirit that there would be a great famine over all the world. And this took place in the days of Claudius. And the disciples determined, everyone according to his ability, to send relief to the brethren who lived in Judea. And they did so, sending it to the elders by the hand of Barnabas and Saul. Peace be to you who has read to us. Wisdom arise, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus came to a city of Samaria called Sychar, near the field that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and so Jesus, weary as he was with his journey, sat down beside the well. It was about the sixth hour. There came a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink, for his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? For Jews had no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with. And this well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself and his sons and his cattle? Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him, he will never thirst. The water that I shall give him will become to him in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me, give me this water that I may not thirst nor come here to draw. Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband and come here. The woman answered him, I have no husband. And Jesus said to her, You are right in saying I have no husband, for you have had five husbands, and he who is now you now have is not your husband. This you said truly. The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshiped on this mountain, and you say that Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem will you worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for such the Father seeks to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, he who is called Christ. When he comes, he will show us all things. And Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. Just then his disciples came. They marveled that he was talking with a woman, but none said, What do you wish? Or why are you talking with her? So the woman left her water jar and went away into the city and said to the people, Come. See a man who told me all that I ever did. Can this be the Christ? They went out the city and were coming to him. 
Meanwhile, the disciples besought him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat of which you do not know. So the disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought him food? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. Do you not say there are yet four months, then comes the harvest? I tell you, lift up your eyes and see how the fields are already white for harvest. He who reaps receives wages and gathers fruits for eternal life, so that the sower and reaper may rejoice together. For here the saying holds true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that for which you did not labor. Others have labored and you have entered into their labor. Many Samaritans from that city believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his word. They said to the woman, it is no longer because of your words that we believe, for we have heard ourselves, and we know that this is indeed Christ, the Savior of the world. Kalimera, Christos Anesti. He just did that to throw you off. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone, and to our mothers who are here, my mother who just walked in, uh, many healthy years as we celebrate Mother's Day. So as we grow up, we reflect a little bit in life and sometimes we say, you know, if I knew then what I know now, I would have done something different. And so here's one of my moments. I grew up in the city of Philadelphia, and surrounding me was unbelievable American history. But I had absolutely no appreciation as a child of what was in front of me. The Liberty Bell was a big bell, it was an old bell with a crack in it. I would walk to church every day, every Sunday, passing the house that Thomas Jefferson wrote, the Declaration of Independence. It was a house. The first United States Mint was in walking distance of the L stop. They made money. In other words, you get my point? When we're young, sometimes we really don't appreciate the things that we have in front of us or the things that we own, or the things that we experience. So it doesn't surprise me, yesterday at a baptism, we had someone visiting our church from western Pennsylvania, and I went right up to them and I said, what did you think? What did you think? And they looked at me and said, about what? You, you know, you were in church, you saw it. What? I said, the iconography. Yeah, it was nice. No, no, the iconography, the, the, the new iconography. What new iconography? What do you mean, what new iconography? Didn't you see the whole wall on the side you were sitting and the columns were wrapped? And, oh, I really didn't even notice it. Now, why I bring that up? Because there are so many places in the world for us as Christians that are really special. And when I was a child, I had no appreciation about those places. But now that I'm older, all of a sudden I want to run from one holy place to another. So you can imagine when we read, read the gospel today and Father read the gospel, when he said that Jesus went to a well in Samaria. I know that well. I was just there. I went to Jacob's well, the well 
of sorrow, the well of suffering, the well of sadness that was attributed and is to the patriarch Jacob. And that well now is a whole different type of well. Why? Does it look new? Absolutely not. But it's because of this dialogue that took place, as Father read, between Jesus and a pagan, a non-Jew, and the woman to boot. I mean, back then, men and women didn't have the same joy as we have today in conversations. Look at the pews today. Do you see that men are sitting next to women? But some of you go to church in Greece and you say, uh-uh, uh, you better sit over there. Why do you do that? Because we're used to men sitting on the side of Christ and women sitting on the side of the Virgin Mary. But that's only a new Christian phenomenon. Because if you went to the Jewish temple, it was only the men who were in the center of the nave. And where did the women worship? Didn't they worship? Of course they did. Do you know where the women worshiped? Any, any idea? In the balconies. Up in the balconies. So look where we have progressed. All because Jesus had a conversation with a non-Jew, with a woman who didn't believe like he did. You know, as Christians, we sometimes miss the point how important it is for us to witness and I'm not talking about we, the Orthodox Christians, to witness to the Roman Catholics. No. How about to the Protestant community? No. How about to everybody, especially the non-Christians? Imagine that. For me, this is the well. This beautiful building, this temple of God is here for us not only to drink fresh and clear water or have a gyro, but to share it with others. We want to bring the gospel to the world. We want to do it in love. We want to do it in humility. We want to do it by example. Why? Because we have seen the true light. Now, where did I get that phrase from? Anyone know? You know why I ask you to follow divine liturgy in the book every Sunday and every liturgy? You know why? Because what did I just say? We have seen the true light, the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. I mean, we have to act like that. When do we sing that hymn? Anyone have an idea? Deirdre? Open oh, again. What? After Holy Communion. Bravo. We sing it after Holy Communion. How can we sing that hymn? How is it possible? Well, because the choir's doing it? No. It's because we have received light upon light the truth. And because we received the truth, we can sing it. Now, what do we do with it? We share it. We share it. And that's a wonderful thing that we're supposed to do, to share the Word of God, to embrace one another. We have a young lady in our, pew, in our choir today. Her name is Murphy. She's the granddaughter of our beloved Rosemary. And now I can see that Murphy is blushing. Murphy and Paulina were singing in a Presbyterian... Sounds like a joke, right? Murphy and Paulina were singing in the Presbyterian church this week. And I went dressed just like I normally dress with my black robe and my cross. And I enjoyed their singing, beautiful singing. And then a woman came up to me and said, Father George. I said, Sarah, what are you doing here? She goes, this is my church. Sarah and her husband Daniel and their children are neighbors right behind here. And they walk around the parking lot and ride their bikes. And one day I stopped Sarah and the girls. And I talked to them in the parking lot. You know what they said to me? We love coming to your church. I knew what they meant. 
when's the next food festival? <laughs> and so, instead of throwing a hissy fit, I gave him the answer. But I told him, hey, you know what? Do you like the food festival? We love the food festival. Well, that food downstairs is pretty good, but the main meal is upstairs. What do you mean? Upstairs we serve a lamb that is beyond any understanding. Wow. And we get into this conversation. Lo and behold, Sarah and her daughters cook on most Tuesdays with our parishioners preparing for the food festival. Sarah's daughters are in the church dance troupe this year. Now, isn't that nice? Isn't that what we're supposed to do? To invite people to come in. Don't worry about what it's going to do to our parish. Oh, my goodness. If we have more Greeks come here, that means we'll have to do more English. Uh, the last time I called you on your home phone or cell phone, not one of you, even of the Greek background, picked up the phone and said, Embros. You've all said, hello. <laughs> so the language is a means of communication. And whether it's Greek or Arabic or Serbian or Latin, whatever it is, it's means of communicating the message of love, the message of joy, a message that Saint Is Isidore Isidoros, his father, didn't get. Now I'm going to pull out my trusty little toy here. Because now as we're adding icons up on the wall, guess what, friends? I'm using the laser beam. This icon right here, here's the column, Saint George. And next is Saint Isidoros of Chios. It's his name day today. We're going to be doing liturgies now, and we're going to see the saints on the walls. Isn't that awesome? He was a, a naval officer from Alexandria. And they stopped on the beautiful island of Chios. That's not an advertisement. So as they stopped on Chios, he grew up a pagan, but God spoke to his heart, and he decided to convert to Christianity. And when they found out he turned into a Christian, wow, here's what they did. They said, come here. Isidore, let's talk about this. I don't know why you want to become a Christian. Look at all the gold that we have. Look at all the wealth that we have. They tried to sweet talk him, but it didn't work. Then they said, you know, if you don't change, we're going to bop you right in the nose and do worse things. He didn't change. They got frustrated. They contacted his father, and his father came. Oh, my goodness. What did you expect his father was going to do? Son, come here. Why do you want to be a Christian? And he sweet talks him and loves him and holds him and hugs him. But Isidore didn't change his mind at all. As a young adult, he was firm in his belief that paganism was demonic. And Jesus is God. And so, he didn't change his mind. His father got so angry but they beat him mercilessly in the streets. And then they beheaded him and threw his body in the trash. Now, how many of you have heard of the word masticha, mastic? On the island of Chios, there are mastic trees in the southern region. Now, let me tell you, there are mastic trees also in Egypt, Alexandria, and other parts of the Mediterranean. But nowhere else in the world did mastic trees weep tears and produce this awesome syrupy sap that the world uses for incense, liqueurs, shampoos, soaps, and Byzantine emperors sent millions of dollars during Byzantium to keep the trees healthy. Do you know when they started to weep? At the murder of St. Isidore. What a beautiful thing that nature would weep at the sight of love. So in closing, here's what I want you to take home today. 
We're blessed to have these examples with pictures and colors called icons. We have this beautiful example, the scriptures that we read. And it's so meaningful, but it's meaningless. Like it was for me growing up in Philadelphia, unless you make it personal. Make your Christian relationship personal. Make God real. Bring Him in. And if you can do that, you know what's going to happen next? You're going to want to share it. You're going to share it with others. Male and female, young and old, white and black, rich or poor, neighbors and those far away. And then they'll understand why we sing after Holy Communion. We have seen the true light. We have received the Heavenly Spirit. Amen. Is your family from here? How did I figure that out? Again, in countless times, we fall down before you and we implore you, O good one who loves mankind, that you, having regarded our prayer, may cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit and grant to us to stand before your holy altar of sacrifice, free of guilt and condemnation. Grant also, O God, to those who pray with us, progress in life, faith, and spiritual understanding. That, and grant that they always worship you with awe and love, partake of your holy mysteries without guilt or condemnation, and be deemed worthy of your celestial kingdom. That ever guarded by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. God, remember your holy Christmas kingdom. Those who hate us and those who treat us unjustly, may the Lord forgive.
we've been creating new lists. May the Lord our God remember all of you in this kingdom always, now, and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Česti mi, Hristo, ljubivi, pravoslavni rod naš, Titori priložnici Sjatogo hrama svego, da pomjeret Gospod Bog vo carstvi svojem, segnani nje i prisno i vo vijek i vijekov. Pan Donimon, ministri Kyrios o Theos, and the Vasili of the Pandote Nin Kae Kais to say on us Don May the Lord God remember your holy priesthood in his kingdom, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of the ages. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. 43. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts you present, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, let us enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance, one affliction, wrath, danger, necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Or an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Oh, the pardon and the remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. Oh, that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. So, that we may complete the remi remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, 
Let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life to Christ our God. the mercy of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Let us love one another with one mind, we may confess. Agape sose, Kyrie, Ischismo, Kyrie, the doors in wisdom let us be attentive Let us stand to our right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right to him, you bless, you praise, you give thanks to you and worship you in every place of your dominion. For you, O God, are ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, forever the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of nothing into being, and when we had fallen away, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone until you had led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom, which is to come. For all these things, we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things we know and do not know, for blessings manifest and hidden that have been bestowed on us. We thank you also for this liturgy, which you have deigned to receive from our hands, even though thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels stand around you, the cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings.
together with his blessed powers, Master, who loves mankind, we also exclaim and say, Holy are you and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. When he had come and fulfilled for our sake the entire plan of salvation, on the night in which he was delivered up, or rather, when he delivered himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and giving thanks and blessing, he hallowed and broke it and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take ye, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remembering, therefore, the saving command and all that had been done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension to heaven, the throne of the right hand, and the second glory is coming. Everyone, please bow your heads. Your own of your own, we offer to you in all and for all. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, and we pray to you, Lord our God. Once again, we offer you the spiritual worship of the shedding of blood. And we beseech and pray and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So that they may be to those who partake of them for reasons of soul, remission of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven comes before you, and on judgment and condemnation. Again, we offer you the spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics. And for every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Among the first, remember, Lord, our Archbishop and Father Savas, grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health on the length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Aye, thavmaste, egyptonogonos, ketiskiu protos fanis, Martis que prostatis naftilomenon que ton senite bondon psichas que somata. Ah. And remember those whom each of us has in mind and all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name, 
of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and now and forever and unto the ages of ages. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. On the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord that our God who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. And grant us, Master, with boldness and without condemnation to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Thanks to you, invisible King, who by your boundless power fashioned the universe and the multitude of your mercy for all things from nothing into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads before you, for they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive, the holy gifts. For the holy people of God.
into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is true of your body, and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation, to partake of your pure mysteries, for the remission of sins, and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach your divine communion. O maker, burning in your eyes, I partake, for you are fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mysteries to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wonderfully nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. Burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that leaping for joy, I may magnify, O oh, good one, your two comings. How shall I, whom unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me. Since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. And O oh, Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves me. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of the soul and body, and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good to me to cleave to God and to place him in the hope for my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper. For I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Theo peace, Theos ki agapis, proselthete, approach the fear of God, with faith and with love. Servant of God, precious body, Lord, the Lord God, is Savior Jesus Christ. Servant of God, next time hold her in your right hand. Remember? Okay. But I have a happy move. Servant of God, precious body, Lord, the Lord God, is Savior Servant of God, precious body, Lord, the Lord God, is Careful, son. Servant of God. Servant of God. The servant of God. The servant of God. Versus The servant of God. Servant of God. Versus Bonnie Blow, the Lord God, and Savior yes, Jesus Christ. Odrus of Theo, the precious body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God. Servant of God. The servant of God. Bravo, bravo. The servant of God. Servant of God. Servant of God. Servant of God. The precious body and blood of the Lord God and Jesus Christ. The servant of God. The precious body and blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God. The precious body and blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God. The precious body and blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God. The precious body. 
Drop your thumb. You're good. <laughs> you have to drop your thumb because I can't reach over. Servant of God, the precious blind of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the precious blind of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the precious blind of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the precious blind of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the precious blind of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Servant of God, because you're blind. The servant of God. Hello. This is blind, Lord God. Servant of God. Servant of God. Grace is blind, Lord God. Servant of God. Servant of God. Servant of God. Servant of God, the precious oh, blind of the Lord God is Servant of God, the Lord God Servant of God, the precious blind of the Lord God Servant of God, the precious blind of the Lord God Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the precious blind of the Lord God Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the precious blind of the Lord God Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the precious blind of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the precious blind of the Lord God Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the precious body of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God, the precious body of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, servant of God, servant of God, the precious body of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Servant of God, the precious blind blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the precious blind blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the precious blind blood of the Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Always have to too. Servant of God. Okay. Oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance.
και αι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν, πληρωθήτοντος το μαίμον εν έσεως Κύριε, όπως αν ανυμνήσουμε την δόξα Σου, ότι εξίωσάς εμάς τον Αγίο Σου με τη σχημιστηρία. Στήρισον εμάς εν τόσο Άγιας Μου, όλη την ημέρα μελετώντας τη δικαιοσύνη Σου. Αλληλούια, αλληλούια, αλληλούια. Giving an awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us. Have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, blesses those who bless you and sanctify those who put their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power, and forsake us not who set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to the civil, civic leaders, to our armed forces, to all your people. For every good and perfect gift from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights, to you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the ages of ages. Join us as we offer this morning prayers for the health and well-being of all of our mothers and grandmothers, godmothers, those who are physically here with us and those who live far away from us. Then we will turn our attention in prayer to those who have passed away, who now are in the presence of the Lord, those near and dear to our hearts. Pray with us as we remember our beloved mothers. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. The choir of saints has found the fountain of life and the door of paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. I am the lost sheep, O Savior. Call me back and save me. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Give rest, O God, to your servants in a place in paradise Books. where the choirs of the saints and the righteous, O Lord, will shine as the stars of heaven. To your departed servants give rest, O Lord, overlooking all their offenses. Oxa Patrike, Oke, Ayo Pnebati. Το τρίλα πρες της μιας θεότητος εύσοβος ύμνησο με βόντες. Αιέως ο πατήρ, ο άναρχος, ο συνάναρχος, Υιός και Θείο Πνεύμα, φωτίσον ημάς πίστης ελατρεύοντες και του αιωνίου 
Pero se para el sol. Que ni que hay, que esto se ona, esto no ona, no ni. Que eres en mí, y te ona, que te cusa, y espantan su tiria. Dijeron, esto no antropon, he brado, tin su tiria, de a su ebro, me el paradiso. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O oh God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O oh God. Alleluia, 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 doxa tio teo. With the saints, give rest, O Christ, to the souls of your servants, where there is no pain, no sorrow. Among the spirits of the righteous perfected in faith, give rest, O Savior, to the souls of your servants, keeping them in the blessed life which is from you, O loving one. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. <laughs> Doxa patrike io, che a io pnevmati, si o teo simon, o catavasi sadi, che da sodina slizzas, pepis menon apto, che da psichaston dolosu. Che nin che a io, che isto se ono, sto ne ono na min. Η μόνη αγνή και άκραντος πρεθένος η Θεόνα φρόστος και ίσασα. Πρέσβευε υπέρ του ελεηθήνε και συγχωρηθήνω τον δούλο σου. Εν μέρση να σου κάνει according to your great mercy we pray to you. Hear us and have mercy. Again we pray for the repose of the departed servants of God. Our mothers, godmothers, grandmothers, those who are with us and those afar, for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. May the Lord God grant their souls rest with the righteous repose, for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of their sins. To kill you, they thought men. O oh God of springs of all flesh, you trample upon death and abolish the power of the devil, giving life to your world. Give rest to the souls of your departed servants, our mothers, our sisters, our grandmothers, our aunts, in a place of light, in a place of green pasture, in a place of refreshment from where pain, sorrow, and sighing have fled away. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin they have committed in word, deed, or thought. For there is no one who lives and does not sin. You alone art without sin, your righteousness in everlasting righteousness. And your word is truth. For you are the resurrection and the life and the repose of your departed sermons here mentioned. Christ our God, and to you we offer glory with your eternal Father who is without beginning, and your all holy, good, and life-creating spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Eonia sa simnimi axiomakaristi, kia imnisti adelfimon.
Eternal be their memory, our precious and all rememberable sisters. Eternal be their memory. Eternal be their memory. May their memory be eternal. is risen from the dead by death trampling on death and to those in the tomb he has have mercy on us, O God, according to your steadfast love. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Again, we pray for faithful and Orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for Archbishop and Father Savas and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the members, trustees, supporters, and benefactors of this holy church, for the servants of God, our mothers, grandmothers, godmothers, who are here and everywhere who celebrate this feast. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the protection of this holy church, this city and every city land from wrath, famine, pestilence, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, foreign invasion, civil strife and accidental death. That our good and loving God may be merciful, gracious, and kindly disposed, and may divert and disperse all anger and disease coming against us, and deliver us from his own just threat, threat hanging over us, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God may hear the prayer of us sinners and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all those who live everywhere on earth and those far out to sea. Be gracious towards our sin, Master, and have mercy on us. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Peace be with all. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Most merciful Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, through the intercessions of our most pure Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable heavenly by this powers, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet of foreign John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Mira in Lycia, Spirit on Bishop of Trimithos and Nectaris of Pedopolis, the Wonder Workers, the Holy Glorious, Great Martyrs, George the Trophy Bearer, Demetrius the Merflowing, 
Theater of the Garden, Theater of the General, Minas and Fanurius, the Wonder Workers, Caranobus Lefterius, the Hiram Martyrs, of our Venerable God bearing Fathers, the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of Saint Isidoros of Hios, the Martyr, whose memory we commemorate today, and all the saints. Accept our prayer. Grant us forgiveness of our transgressions. Amen. Protect us in the shelter of your wings. Amen. Drive away from us every enemy and adversary. Grant peace Amen. to our life, Lord, have mercy on us and on your world. And save our souls as a good and loving God. Amen. Pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, you blessed the five loaves in the wilderness and from the and fed the five thousand men who were filled. Bless now also these loaves, wheat, wine, and oil, and multiply them in this holy city, in the homes of those who celebrate today, and in your whole world, and sanctify your faithful servants who partake of them. Amen. For you are, For you are <coughs> he who blesses and sanctifies all things, Christ our God. And to you we offer up glory together with eternal Father and your holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The wealthy have become poor and gone hungry, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Lucy, Ebdoin, Kepinatsa, son Today being Mother's Day, the HEPA 156 is honoring the mothers by offering a nice morning breakfast in a potted plant so that you may adorn either your windowsill or your living room, or even your garden. So let us join in a prayer of thanksgiving so that we may eat when we begin to go downstairs. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father. Christ our God, bless the food and drink of your servants for those who have offered and those who will receive. For you are holy now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. To give you the Amen.
May the blessing of the Lord and His mercy come upon you through His divine grace and love for mankind, always and now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God. I hope glory to you. May Christ, the true God who rose from the dead, as a good, loving, and merciful God, through the intercessions of His most holy, pure, and blessed Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the honorable bodies, powers in heaven, supplications of the humble, glorious prophet of four John the Baptist, holy, glorious, and praise with the apostles, our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we have celebrated today, of the holy, glorious tribe of martyrs of St. George, the great martyr, St. Kirikos, and the holy fathers of Raithon, Sinai Monastery, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of St. Isidoros of Chios, the martyr, whose memory commemorate today and of all the saints. Diefkon dun ayun pateron imon, kiries triste o theos, eleison que soson imas. Christos anesti. Alithos anesti. Christos Anesti. Christos Anesti. And a blessed Mother's Day to all of our dear mothers. Much health and happiness to all of you. Yesterday, our parish had an anniversary. Who remembers what anniversary our parish celebrated? The date, May 13. The opening of the doors. Our this temple is 22 years old. Our parish is 92 years old. And as I shared with you through the parish council, we're going to begin putting together a 100-year committee because we're not going to wait last minute to plan our 100th anniversary. And also, we want to celebrate more than just one year or one event. I like to see us celebrating from the 95th year all the way up to the 100th year. So in order to do that, we need to start thinking about what we want to do. So we'll keep you in mind. But our parish is 22 years old in this beautiful temple. There's another All Saints in this metropolis. Archbishop Demetrius and Metropolitan Sava are there today. In Weirton, West Virginia, this weekend, they celebrate 100 years old. Now, that's a big number, but let me tell you that Weirton was incorporated only 10 years before the founding of the parish. That's an unbelievable mark. Think of that. 
So to our sister church in uh, Weirton, West Virginia, of all saints, may God grant them many, many healthy years. May we be blessed to see our 100th anniversary as well. I want to remind parents who have children who are attending college that our parish and the AHEPA have a scholarship that we've been advertising. Please look at the bulletin and make sure that your children have the opportunity to apply for those wonderful scholarships. The Mother's Day booklet that you found in the narthex today, let me remind you, it's for you to take home. Now, last year, we had a lot of copies left over, and we found out that most of you didn't even see them. So please don't go home today without having that Mother's Day booklet uh, in your hands. And finally, out of all the people who come and visit and pray with us in our community, today, Father and I would like to highlight one person, a person whom God has sent us, the first person to work in our parish office that wasn't a parishioner, but is the dearest of all friends. Don Maverich is here, our parish secretary. Some of you have never met her. Don, at least raise your hand, put your hand up a little bit during coffee hours so they can see you. Some of you have never met Don, but let me tell you that our parish has been blessed historically with three awesome administrators in the office. Kathy Drakis, Heidi Sarunis, and in the shortest amount of time, Dawn has moved into our hearts and has made All Saints her home. We thank you, Dawn, very much for surprising us today in worship. <laughs> to your mom, happy Mother's Day and good health to her and to all of you. So join us downstairs for a nice little breakfast. Kalimera, God bless you and keep you well. I, was gonna put you I wonder if you can guess which island uh, Father George's family comes from. <laughs> okay, you're all right. No, no. It's just an estate. This was an esti. This was an esti. This was an esti. This was an esti. Ice is risen. This was an esti. This was an esti. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christos and Esti. One or more. Right, Alitos or Kyrios. Yes, Christos and Esti. Christ is risen. Alitos or Kyrios. You home for the summer? Wonderful. Christos and Esti, Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen.